Armacuts, video number three, fabricating 90s, 45s, and tees from scratch. In this tutorial, we'll guide you step-by-step -step through the process to ensure professional, precise results every time. Before we begin cutting, let's make sure our knife is razor sharp. We recommend lightly sharpening the blade before each project. A sharp knife produces cleaner cuts and ensures a professional finish. Let's start with a 90 degree fitting. The final fitting consists of four pieces, two 15 degree to 15 degree cut pieces, two 15 degree to straight cut pieces. First, grab your insulation material and carefully align it with the bottom line of the template, right here. Pro tip, proper alignment is crucial for achieving precise cuts. Keep track of your angles as the order of your cuts may vary based on your preferred workflow. Now that our material is aligned and our knife is sharp, we're ready to begin cutting. Since we're starting with a new straight piece of material, we'll begin with a 15 degree cut, leaving about half an inch of space, followed by a straight cut on the opposite side. Pro tip, let the knife do the work. Some prefer a light sawing motion, while others opt for a single fluid cut. The goal is to achieve a smooth straight edge with no jagged lines. For the next cut, since we are left with a 15 degree cut, we'll now make another 15 degree cut. You'll need to repeat this step twice to complete the second and third pieces. For the fourth and final piece, continue from the 15 degree cut and finish with a straight cut, creating a duplicate of the first piece. Once all four pieces are cut, dry fit them together to ensure a perfect alignment before applying adhesive. Pro tip. Dry fitting helps identify any necessary adjustments before final assembly. Once everything fits properly, apply adhesive. Then cut a seam through the fitting, just like we did in our previous tutorial. This seam allows the insulation to wrap seamlessly around the pipe. Now apply the adhesive on both sides and install the fitting. Once the adhesive is applied and is tacked up, it's time to install the fitting onto the pipe. And there you have it, a perfectly fabricated 90 degree fitting. Now that we've mastered the 90 degree fitting, let's move on to the 45 degree fitting. The process is similar, but requires fewer cuts. As always, ensure your knife is sharp, then align your insulation material with the template. For the 45 degree fitting, we'll need three pieces. Start with 111 and a quarter degrees to a straight cut piece, leaving about a half inch between cuts. Next cut 111 and one quarter degree to 11 and one quarter degree cut piece, again leaving about a half inch between cuts. Finally cut another 11 and a quarter degrees to straight cut piece. Once all three pieces are cut, dry fit them together before applying adhesive. Pro tip. The gluing process is crucial. Apply an even thin layer of adhesive to both sides of each cut. This ensures a strong, seamless bond. Avoid over applying. A thin, tacky layer works best. Once everything is aligned correctly, press the pieces together and seal them in place. Finally, as before, make a seam cut to fit the insulation around the pipe to prepare it for installation. You can mark your cuts with a marker to make your cut lines visible. Always measure twice and cut once. Now let's cut the seam right in the middle of the fitting, just about here. 
Next, perform a quick dry fit to ensure everything aligns perfectly before applying adhesive. Here's a crucial step, applying adhesive. Shake the adhesive well and apply it evenly to both sides of the cut. It's now time to install the fitting around the pipe. Make sure it aligns properly. Gently press the fitting into place. Join the cut seam together where you applied the glue previously and hold it together until it dries. And there you have it, a perfect 45 degree fitting now, let's tackle the T-fitting, which consists of two pieces. This fitting requires a slightly different approach, but follows the same fundamental principles. Start by measuring and cutting the first piece, approximately 6 inches wide. On this piece, measure to the center and cut a hole that matches the pipe diameter. Remove any excess material. For the second piece, cut a similar length straight piece. Cut a half moon shape to allow a snug fit around the first cut piece. Before gluing, dry fit the pieces together to check for alignment. Pro tip! As always, apply adhesive to both sides for a secure, durable bond. Carefully align the pieces and press them together for a tight fit. For this seam, you'll make two cuts, one across here and another one up here. After a quick dry fit, apply adhesive, ensure it's tacky, and install the fitting. And that's it, a perfectly fabricated T-fitting, ready for installation. This wraps up our class on fabricating 90s, 45s, and T's from scratch using the template tool. If you're ready to take your skills even further, check out our advanced tutorials where we teach insulation from scratch for complex systems such as water pumps, chiller manifolds, valves, flanges, and unions. Thank you for choosing Armacuts. Niche trade, low competition, well paid. Good luck, and we'll see you in the next class.